Oh man, this game's intense. Hey, guess who just won four backstage passes to tonight's OAR concert? Yeah, me. No, not you. Me. Whatever. I bet you don't even know what OAR stands for. Yeah, I do. Of a revolution. Nope. <laughs> Old Australian robots. around 12 We walked along lonely streets The winners of the backstage passes are here. Let them in. Come on in. Hey, what's up guys? So, how'd you guys like the show? That was an awesome show. You guys rock. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Listen, uh, so how do you Australian robots work? Do you run on artificial intelligence or something or What? Robots? Australian? Yeah, we don't know anything about any robots. So how did you guys win backstage passes anyway? Well, I was just sitting in my room listening to the radio. Then all of a sudden the DJ comes on and he's like, Okay, everybody, I got four backstage passes to tonight's OAR concert. Whoever gets their ass down here first gets them. Damn, that's cold-blooded. I'm sorry, ladies. I don't think we caught your names. Well, my name's Allie. Oh, oh I'm Sarah. <laughs> Hello, Allie and Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, hell are you doing? doing? What? I had to do something to break that awkward silence? Plus, you guys are supposed to be rock stars. You do this sort of thing all the time. Um, we don't do that. Well, can you trash the room? Or at least shoot some alcohol directly in your veins? Something? Jeez! Man, we don't do that stuff either. Well, what do you guys do? We love detailing minivans. Yeah, it really helps us relax. Yeah, like Britney Spears and the Kabbalah, right? Yeah, just like that. Parks. Parks. Parks, wake up. Wake up, we're supposed to get breakfast with the girls. Meh, six more hours. <laughs> All right, who wants breakfast? I'ma get to me some Flapper Jacks. It's 5 p.m. Who wants dinner? I'ma get to me some Flapper Jacks. Man, that concert was great and all, but I just didn't like the way OIR was ogling all over Sarah and Allie. I'm just glad that they're back on the tour bus and out of here. Don't bother me none. Allie ain't Parks woman. No go gonna tell Pox down? Yeah, is that why you're holding her purse? She asked me to hold on to it. So I says, poker? I don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened? I thought we were gonna go get breakfast or, or dinner. Oh, we already ate dinner with the band. Yeah, they made it themselves. Yeah, I can cook a steak with my guitar. All right, well, we're gonna go feed the homeless and detail some minivans. See you later. Tell us another joke. You guys are so funny. So there's this girl on the beach with no arms and no legs. Ugh. Can you believe this? We gotta do something. Yeah, I know. These tater tots don't look anything like the Rugrats. No, I mean about OAR and Allie and Sarah. What the hell are they still doing here anyways? Thanks bye, for guys. having us. Yeah. Bye. Yes. Okay, yes. bye. They are so nice. Alright guys, here's the plan. In two days, we're gonna hit the diamond store, rob it blind, and hop back on our super cool tour bus before anybody in this stupid town knows what hit them. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know. This is just like that time when the Harlem Globetrotters came to our high school and your girlfriend like Curly Neal, and we built a bunch of robots to destroy the Harlem Globetrotters in a basketball game. Remember? No, man, that was when the Globetrotters went to Gilligan's Island. For some reason. All right. Oh, I know. We dressed up as ghosts to scare them away from the amusement park. Nope. That was when the globe trotters were on Scooby-Doo, for some reason. Then what the hell did we do? Ah, uh, thanks.
that wonderful entertainer spent 16 months in intensive care. <laughs> yeah. Your girlfriend in high school was pretty ugly, huh? Yeah. Holy crap, I've got it! Got what? Hmm. I think I found a way to get Sarah back. And probably not send anybody in intensive care. Probably. Check it out, check it out. Battle of the Bands? Dude, we can't even play any instruments. Well, you can always play the skin flute. <laughs> nice. Anyways, the competition's only a week away. All the more reason to get started now. Come on, are you just gonna give up on this once the first little thing gets in your way? No. And are you gonna let a little thing like absolutely no musical talent stop you from forming the ultimate band? No. Don't you want to win this competition and show OAR who's boss? Yeah! This band is probably having their way with the girl of your dreams as we speak! Yeah, uh, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Brush that off, brush Now let's get out there and win the competition! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Skin flute. Okay, okay, check this out. I think I just wrote the most kick-ass lyrics in the world. When I wake up in the morning, and the alarm, it lets out a warning, and I don't think I'll ever make it on time. By the time I get my books, and I give myself a look, I'm at the corner just in time to see the bus slide by. Parks, that's a theme song to Save by the Bell. You watch it every morning. Oh, okay, uh, well, how about this? I'm standing at the edge of tomorrow. And it's all up to me how far I go. I'm standing on- That's Saved by the Bell, the college years. Uh, that show uh, sucked. Yeah, well, we're in college. It relates. No, man, we gotta come up with our own stuff if we want to beat OAR. <laughs> how do we make them stop without getting mauled? <laughs> Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Do we know you guys? Mark, these guys are obviously homeless. Let's get you some warm soup. What? No. <laughs> we, we, we won the backstage passes, remember? Yeah, nice job, Mike. Hey, chumps, you guys think you're a pretty good band, huh? Well, we owe a lot of our success to our fans. Shut up. And... Look, you really want to prove yourselves. Why don't you enter the Battle of Bands competition? Or are you too chicken? <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. Sounds like fun. Yeah, we'll be there. We just have one request. What? Can you ask that Yeti to stop eating my drums? Welcome to the first annual College University Battle of the Bands. Now some of you may be wondering, what's the Dean Man doing up here introducing these bands? Our first performers are way too talented to be in this competition. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Orr. It's OAR, dumbass! You son of a bitch! They don't care about the music like we do, man. Yes, they do. And about up until a week ago, I didn't care about the music at all. Oh my god. I just realized we don't even have a name for our band. Ugh, oh, I need a rope and something sturdy to hang from. Mike, Mike, Mike. Don't worry. Parks took care of it. What's our name, Parks? Parks? Parks, listen to me. What did you name the band? Oh, we're up next! <laughs> all right, let's give it up for Orr. Yeah, you heard what I said. Now, our next band has been around since, uh, early last week. Let's hear it for Parks' Suntastical Dreamtime Reality Band. Mr. 
part of this stupid band Because a real band stole my girl And if there's one thing they can't understand Is that we're here to rock your world Well technically she isn't your girlfriend You had one date and you went home alone And now this may be hard for you to comprehend But you're as cool as Frank Stallone What the hell's your problem, dick face? You said this band was gonna be a hit And now I gotta hurry up and finish this song Before my pants fill up with shh Shut up, quit your crying, limp wrist Cause the song is almost through and if you call me dick face just one more time, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Dick face. <laughs> okay, everybody. The judges have tallied their votes, and we got ourselves a winner. The winner of the College University Battle of the Bands is the old Australian robots. <laughs> America has spoken. Eat Wang, Paula Abdul. Please freeze! Don't even think about it. Not so fast, OAR. How'd you guys catch us? Oh, when we saw you guys washing those cars, we were about to leave, but I had this sinking feeling in my stomach. Turns out, I just had to take a dump really bad. Luckily, we walked by your tour bus, so we hopped in the back, took a dump in your sink. That was you? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> told you guys it wasn't me. Let me finish. When I was done taking the dump, I noticed something strange. When I saw these black suits, I immediately thought of Reservoir Dogs, and that, in the movie, they were robbing a diamond store. I think. That's what tipped you off? Book up, Dano. Shut up! Hey, what happened to OAR? Looks like your precious OAR turned out to be nothing more than some low-class diamond thieves. Well, what do you think of them now? Oh my god, they're bad boys! I got it. <laughs> 